Gardeners, Thanks. and I'm one of your favorite helpers. <laughs> Thanks for lying. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about lots of gardening yeah. uh, tips for the fall. Yeah, extending the garden season. So what are we putting in bed one? Bed one, we're going to plant some broccoli. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you want to do um, is dig your holes and make sure that you're digging them to the right depth of your transplant. Okay. We want to kind of break up this little root zone right here, and that kind of stimulates the plant to grow. And if the if the transplants are root bound or something like that, it will help them a little bit more. So you just kind of break it up and make it a nice little bed. You just put them in the hole and press firmly around and make sure they're up straight. They prefer to be spaced very far apart. Okay. Okay, so about 18 inches apart. So how big will this get? Um, it will probably get about this, the plants will get about this big. Oh wow, okay. And then the fruit is mature and ready to harvest when it's three to eight inches wide. Any of any of those steps. And you just cut it off in the middle. This okay. will grow into your fruit and you're just gonna cut it off and um, and then little side shoots will come up and you'll have little tiny baby broccolis. Baby broccoli? Yeah. Yeah, so this will be ready probably mid-November to Thanksgiving. It takes a little bit for broccoli to mature and grow, but they are um, frost hardy. Mm -hmm. So um, in Maryland, we usually get frost mid to early November, so they should be fine through frost. Okay. Yeah. So we have our bed. Yes. And things are planted. Mm -hmm. But we need to protect this stuff, right? Yes, we do need to protect it. There are several insects that love broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, kale, collards. We like to protect our cold weather crops with what we call a floating row cover. You can pick this up at your local home and garden store or online. So they just kind of lay over top your plant. You can do it this way, or you can construct a nice little um, hoop house on your raised bed that will kind of hold it up and let the sunlight through, but will protect your plant. Cool, so you just use piping. Yes, That's what piping. you were going to use, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I will put down some straw and maybe um, my soaker hose so that my plants get watered and my soil's protected so it doesn't blow away this winter. You really wanna make sure that you're covering your soil. And you can do that with a layer of newspaper and then some straw to kind of weigh it down. Or you can do um, you know, the weed barrier fabric, something to keep your soil in place. So we're here at bed two. Yes. And we have lettuce. Yeah. It's a great time to put your lettuce in the ground. You can either do lettuce transplants or lettuce seeds. I'm going to do a mixture of both because these will be ready to harvest earlier and then I'll have a succession of lettuce seeds later. Awesome. Yeah, so it'll keep on going. Yeah, and clearly we can plant these a little bit closer than we did the broccoli. Exactly, exactly. They're not going to take up much more room than what they already do. And you can see like these are a little bit more um, root bound than the broccoli was, so you really have to kind of break that off and make it mushy. And the same thing, we're yep, pushing the dirt fill in. Yeah, just fill it in. in. Yep. You're, you've got Man, this I'm, now. I'm you telling can, you, yeah. You, you're the, gonna the do first, your own gardening yeah, show yeah, now. Yeah, this you is the last one we need you for. <laughs> yeah. We do have all the details on these. Yes, yeah. While we're getting these in, yeah, right? Yeah, your transplants usually come with these really helpful hints on the back. Um, like if it requires full sun, how far to plant them apart, and then how quickly they mature. So these are gonna be mature in about 45 days. So about the middle of October, okay. they'll be ready to cut. And a special thing about lettuce is that you don't need to take the whole plant out of the ground. Just cut about an inch above the ground and it will regrow. Oh, great. Yeah, so you'll just have lettuce forever. Well, until well, we get yeah. a hard frost. <laughs> So we have some lettuce mix. It's a mucilage mix, kind of like that. Okay. And then we have some kale mix. So we're gonna plant both of those. And they should mature in about 45 days as well. Okay. And one thing that you wanna make sure that you're doing when you're planting a garden is making sure that the plants that you plant actually like to grow well together. Right. Um, and that's called companion planting. Um, some plants don't go, re go well together, like peppers and beets don't like each other. This, so we made a little row. So we made a little furrow. Okay. And we're just gonna sprinkle them. See, nice little sprinkle. And then you can't even see them because they're so little. Right, it just mixes in. It just kind of mixes in. Yeah. And then you kind of cover and pat down. Cover and pat. So here, I'll let you do this one. Great. Kale. All-Stars kale mix. Yeah. Brassica napis. Good job. Yes. Um, what are your directions? Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, plant spacing 18 inches. Okay, 18 inches. Uh, so about uh, 
one horse hand, right? Sure. So I'm making a little line? Little row, yeah. a furrow. Yep. And the kale seeds are a little bit bigger, so right. you can kind of see where they are. See? Oh, yeah. It's, it's not very much okay. on the kale. And then we're just brushing over and we're patting just... down? Now what? That, we wait. I'm a gardener. Yes, you are. High five. High five. 